Hi guys, it's Shanae and welcome back to my channel. And also if you're new here, I post new fashion, lifestyle and travel videos every week. And today I'm going to be doing a like birthday slash things I bought around the time of my birthday haul. Yeah. So anyway, um I have to warn you like this is probably gonna take some time because a lot of what I did get uh is like pretty big and like has some stories behind it so brace yourselves get yourself a cup of tea i feel like i'm about to start a drama video or something um but yeah without further ado let's get into it okay so why don't we start with what i have on me right now so this jacket i actually got um around the time of my birthday i got it at a vintage shop i'll leave a link for it down below in case you are interested and then the top as well is velvet it's a bodysuit I think that's what you call it uh, I'll put a picture of what I mean here um, but yeah it's one of those um, and as you can see it ties around the neck and I really just like it because even though it is definitely meant for um, summer I still think it's just like a bit different and I don't know, I just, I don't like the normal, like, wearing a dress for summer, you know, type thing. I, I mean, I do have dresses, but not a lot. Um, so yeah, this is something that I'm glad to be adding to my summer wardrobe. Um, then, speaking of dresses, why don't we get this over with? So, I absolutely love this. It's, um, it comes to right down, uh, right below my knee. And um, what I really like about this is it's placed like that and then I don't know if you can see but it has like this small gap here um, that allows you to kind of just see this part of the ribs. Then it cinches in here around the bust and uh, it's also uh, off the shoulder. So I am absolutely loving the way that this looks on. I'm so impressed with this and it was so cheap it was 120 rand i will put the rand to dollar conversion somewhere here um but yeah so i am very happy about this but then yeah that's probably like the only dress um that i am going to be buying unless like something catches my fancy which is not often where when it comes to dresses um, anyway, and then we have this, which is for the people going into fall slash winter. This is a bit more appropriate, but yeah, just this very plain, fluffy, wonderful cardigan that I absolutely love and will probably still wear when I'm like lounging around the house, getting cold, uh, while everyone else is basking outside in the sunlight. Um, so yeah, this is just very nice and plain um, and such a staple item I would say I love like, you know, throw on sweaters. If you do follow me on my social media then you'll probably have seen this sweater and this jacket already. Um, but yeah, this is a definitely a new favourite of mine. Though basically everything that I'm about to show you is definitely at the moment a favourite of mine. Then, okay, well, this one is a favorite of mine, but it's not a very practical favorite at the moment. Um, it's this turtleneck um, gray sweater. I have so much gray at the moment, like sweaters in particular. Um, but this is just such a nice one, also vintage. Um, I'll leave the shop that I got that from also in the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, but it's just very comfortable and it's one of the few sweater like turtlenecks that isn't like too tight for me here um, So yeah, very nice um, Then I want to leave the best for last but I have so many things um, Okay, let's go with this one next Hello. Okay, so this is just like the best thing ever sort of there's a few more, but still, this is just, it's so freaking fantastic. I've wanted a throw for the longest, longest time, and this one is so gigantic. So, basically, I took some of the birthday money that I got, and I bought this for myself because 
Um, I don't know how it is like internationally, but here in South Africa, throws are quite expensive, uh, especially if you're like a student or someone who is unemployed or recently employed or, you know, just in the beginning stages of adult life, basically. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really wanted something like this and I knew that if it was up to just like having to spend my money, my very small amount of money uh, on something like this, I would never be able to stomach the thought. Yet I really, really, really wanted something like this. So, And I am so, so happy with it. It's beautiful. It's so soft. And it's basically everything I've ever wanted in a throw. That Yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah. Then we have this. Uh, this was very strange because this was something that I asked my parents for for about two years in a row. And then I kind of gave up hope. Um, and then they surprised me with it for this year. So, um, yeah. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to fit it into the screen, but just bear with me. <clears throat> It's a suitcase! Ooh. I am so ridiculously happy with it because I don't have a international suitcase anymore. I, um, like, what do you call it? Inherited um, my grand suitcase um, when she passed away, which sounds very creepy. I don't, sorry. Um, but yeah, so that that was for the longest time my only suitcase, and then the zipper broke, and it started like falling apart. Um, so the last time I went overseas, I actually had to borrow my one cousin's suitcase. Um, so this is such an amazing gift, and it's such high quality, and it's so beautiful. So it's above and beyond what I expected. It's what I hoped for in like my wildest dreams, but it's not at all what I expected. So it was just heaven when I like I didn't even un unwrap it because they didn't wrap it because it's huge but like w when they showed it to me I was like yeah I was so excited <laughs> so with those two out of the way because they're just so big I, I kind of just want to show them and talk about them um, then we also have this um, you'll see this in my um, I don't know, I'm still fuzzy about when I'm going to be posting, in what order order I'm going to be posting this, but either you will have seen this or you will be seeing this. Uh, but this, um, let me see if I can get a close-up. So it's basically just this kind of um, compartmentalized jewelry box. And I'm absolutely in love with this because one of the ma main things that changed in my room was the fact um, that I kind of now have a display area I, I will show you guys that in my next minimalizing video I am so excited for that one but I'm not going to be showing that to you now um, but yeah so I wanted to have my jewelry in like a nice ish thing so that it's not all over the place and scattered and just not looking great so I bought that and I am so happy with it it took forever to hunt down um, but yeah very happy with that. Um, and then down to the last two things. Now, this is quite ironic. Um, one of the things I couldn't show earlier because um, I bought a similar one for my friend. He'll know who he is if he's watching this. And it is this Harry Potter wand. Well, I mean, like, this wand. It's not um, Harry Potter's wand. I actually got him... Uh, the Harry Potter one, but the one that I got for myself is um, Severus Snape. So let me quickly just show you. I am so incredibly impressed with this because um, I didn't know what to expect from the seller that I got them from. Um, I'm not going to be linking it below because obviously I don't want him to see where I got it. Uh, but if you are interested, then you can DM me on either Instagram or on Twitter and I will send you the link. Um, so yeah, it basically has this dark blue velvet inside um, and then just obviously the case with um, the character 
name right here and there to let you know uh, which one it was you got just in case you forgot or something um, and then this is the actual wand I am incredibly happy with mine I don't know if you can see the detail but it has like engravings and um, all kinds of things here that is so perfect for me because I feel like it really matches with like the type of jewelry and things I prefer which is strange but I just feel like like this is my wand like it really does kind of feel like it suits me um so I hope that if you do decide to get a wand that you feel as happy about yours as I do about mine what I found really cool as well was the fact that um the lengths of my one versus his one was actually different which I didn't think they would pay that close attention to the design of the ones and they did so I am thoroughly impressed all over um, and yeah it was just it was just a freaking fantastic purchase I'm really happy and I'm also really happy with the one that I got him um, so yeah and then <laughs> I don't know, it's the funniest thing because we seem to kind of have thought on the same trend because for my birthday he got me the necklace, uh, the time turner necklace. So it was just, it felt very perfect. Um, so yeah, it comes in this kind of compartment. Um, this is the, um, like the golden one. Um, I'm gonna, no, yeah, let's take it out, so you see it like that, and it turns, it's like, it's full quality, um, this, this is kind of a, a general complaint that a lot of you will have, and I can, like, I can see it from both sides, because I would have, like, preferred the chain to be longer as it was in, um, that movie, but for practicality's sake, if you're actually going to wear it, and I do wear mine, um, that length I think is pretty damn perfect. Um, so it's kind of like, just be warned that the length of the actual chain is short. Um, I think it gets to about here um, when I have it on. So if that is a drawback for you, um, maybe consider purchasing like, um, the sterling silver one, they do seem to have a longer chains. I don't know, uh, this is just a guess, uh, just like a, putting a warning out there, that's just a guess, but um, yeah, those ones don't have um, the longest chains, I don't find it to be an issue, but it might be for some people, um, so do keep that in mind, because it is a lot of money to spend as far as I know, uh, with these kinds of things, um, if that's something that you're not going to like about it. Okay, then I have two more things to go. So I will get this one out of the way because it's also Harry Potter themed. As you might know, I'm a bit of a Harry Potter fan. Just slightly. Um, but yeah, I decided to take the plunge and I got myself the 20th anniversary... Sorry for the truck. The 20th edition, anniversary edition of the Philosopher's Stone. And I got it in my house colour. I got it because I am a Hufflepuff. But yeah, so I'm extremely happy with this purchase. It's actually the very first Harry Potter book that I've ever purchased myself. Um, all the other ones I have read and I do have them, but um, I actually got them from my cousin. Um, she had them and then she had to move away and she gave them to me before she moved away. Um, she's back now, but <laughs> regardless. Um, so yeah, I am really happy I did that. Um, I know it seems quite strange because I've already read this book, but yeah, I'm very pleased. Then my last ones, um, and there was a lot of people on Instagram who were like, can we please see a better photo of these? I would appreciate it. And the, this is not a photo, but you may see them more close up. I have another pair of boots. I know, I'm ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so this is like my new favorite boot. It is meant to replace one of the other ones that's like getting a bit old. Um, and it has buckles. I love myself some buckles. Um, so yeah, let me just get you guys a close up of this. Um, and it is actually mango. I got them on sale. So it's something that I never would have 
Oh, there's a spider on it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it's uh, the type of boot that I would never have been. It's the type of boot that I would never have been able to afford full price, and I am so glad I got them on a sale. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, and I love them so much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I am generally pleased with everything that I got um, and please if you are looking at this and you're like this is crazy it's such a large, uh, large amount of things I know um, a lot of this was obviously my birthday presents um, and I also want to say this was accumulated over like two or three months so please don't feel like you have to go out and spend a lot of money to like feel fabulous you don't have to you're fabulous all on your own uh that was very random for me but i just wanted to put that out there um i of often have like i don't want to say buyer's guilt because that's not what it's about um but i do often feel like you know this is kind of promoting that constant spending type thing and that's not what this is about um it's purely me sharing my joy over the things that I recently got um, and maybe inspiring you to get something that you really want to get for a long while um, but anyway that's the end of my very preachy haul um, I do hope you enjoyed um, I am usually not that deep um, and if you did enjoy please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next time oh and my social media will be in the links below okay bye